what's up guys, this is Martin4046 today with a, you know, I think this is sort of a collectible toy review. Today we're having a look at NECA's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Ezio Auditore da Fidense, Roleplay Gauntlet Hidden Blade. Awesome. Uh, the first thing you will notice is the fact that this box is absolutely huge. Now, not really, you know, wide and huge, but it's extremely long. And if I get it right like this, it reaches the top of my backdrop, which is very cool. Um, I gotta say, this, this, this is probably one of my foam. I'm sorry, my, one of my most looking for things I have to say from NECA. Uh, besides the uh, Assassin's Creed of Legends Ezio, the Prometheus figures and more and other figures I was so looking for for this thing right here and I finally got it in my hands let's first take a look at the packaging um, it's a very nice box is that it is actually a very nice box of course you get you got to see the full replica right here the extended version in the blade you got there Assassin's Creed Brotherhood uh, features preloaded action of course um, Ezio Auditore, uh, Auditore, sorry, um, Roleplay Gauntlet, uh, Player Select Line, of course, there you got the good folks called NECA. On the side, you got a very nice, again, a very nice picture of the Gauntlet. Again, features spring loaded action. On the back, you see Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Ezio Auditore, um, Roleplay Gauntlet. Here you get the full Gauntlet, of course, within a few pictures. And it does actually come in two pieces, of course, uh, more the kind of the Desmond style hidden blade, and there you got, of course, the gauntlet itself. Uh, featuring highly detailed replica of Ezio Auditore's armored fan race. Spring loaded action, three adjustable straps, a locking safety mechanism. There you got, of course, the uh, other you know collectibles uh, also available, which I have as well. I have the uh, we are we have the legendary assassin uh, Assassin's Creed Ezio from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and there you got of course the Ebony Assassin Ezio, which is by far my favorite, and there we got the Da Vinci's flying machine. Uh, also there is the Onyx version Ezio, you know on the back itself, but uh, never mind. Let's get this awesome this awesome piece out of the box and let's see what we have. So here we have the. A gauntlet of Ezio Auditore out of the packaging and if you are an Assassin's Creed fan and if you searching for kind of collectibles and all kinds of stuff this is just a must have this thing is <coughs> outstandingly gorgeous I'm sorry the attention of detail the play value in this thing is just phenomenal just phenomenal um, I will show it later how it looks on my, you know, on my arm. But first I wanted to show you, you know, the attention of detail. Uh, and the detail is, again, well and well done. Well done. Um, detail-wise, it is just amazing. You get this very nice, uh, silver kind of coloring. With this very nice kind of detail and, uh, you know, of, you know, of, um, kind of grayish paint over it. So it looks weathered and, you know, kind of looking like metal. Like, you know, kind of like that it's been used in battles and kinds of stuff. You got this very nice eagle right here. Which is very cool. And one thing I just love is the fact it just exactly looks like Ezio's Fembrace in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Overall, I really liked Ezio's design in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I actually like all the designs of Ezio. I absolutely love the design of Ezio from Assassin's Creed Revelations, but after that, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the, the design of you know Ezio is just awesome. But get away the topic here. Got of course the Assassin emblem right here. With some nice, you know, details of around here. Just look at it. Absolutely awesome. At the bottom, of course, you got the blade itself. Of course, a little, you know, a little strap right here if you, you want to change the size because some people have, you know, kind of big arms, some people have, you know, more smaller arms, which is very handy. 
And um, first thing I want to mention is uh, it comes it comes in two pieces. Um, so if you want to put it uh, on your arm, you first you need to put this on your arm. But I will show that later. Um, again, the attention of detail is just awesome, just absolutely amazing. Of course, the other side. The one thing I just really like is the fact they they you know they sculpted all these little little drawings inside which is amazing what I also really and really like is the fact that this entire piece is a kind of a softer flexible rubber of plastic you know it's still very hard and very you know you know very hard but it's kind of flexy so you don't have to worry that it doesn't break off kinds of stu all kinds of stuff so that's a big, big plus, which is very cool. So, you know, it's kind of movable. So you don't have to worry that it's going to break right off. Now, of course, I will uh, put this very awesome piece on my arm and show what it does. Be right back. And uh, here you have it on my entire arm. And by the way, I have my uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations t-shirt on, being the fact that I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. And uh, on your arm itself, it does look absolutely fantastic. But I will show you now the full, you know, the meat and potatoes of this thing. Watch. You need to push this thing right here, and there you go. An extended version of the Hidden Blade. And what I just love is the length itself and the details on the blade itself it really gives you a full replica feeling of Ezio's gauntlet or Vembrace absolutely fantastic just just amazing and the length is really nice as well maybe not as long if you compare it to the game itself but still it's it's long um, the one thing I have to comment on is the fact like um, if you play with this and if you play with you know kind of sword fights kind of stuff please be so careful with this because you know being the fact that this is a kind of rubber this point right here is downright sharp it is pretty and pretty sharp and the thing I'm afraid of if you play with this you never you you never want to you know poke this thing in someone's eye because it really can literal literally as you know poke someone's eye out. So I don't really advise to, you know, play with this around the kind of stuff, but but if you really want to play with this thing, you need to be really and really and really, really careful. Um, being the fact that I've said that, if you want to take the, the blade, uh, you know, back into his gauntlet, it's very easy, you just need, need to do this. And it stays back in place. And if you need, if you need safety, I'm sorry, uh, there is a special lock right here. Here it's of course opened to release the blade, of course. But if you take it back inside, and if you do this, it can't go out anymore. So that is very, very cool. Here I will show it one more time, right here. The very amazing gauntlet. Uh, this is the way how it looks on your arm. Releasing the blade one more time. Right here. And uh, absolute, this is just just an amazing piece to your collection. If you're an Assassin's Creed fan, this is just a must-have. Um, it's on retail now at some stores. It will slowly come into um, stores. This uh, piece is already uh, available on ForbiddenPlanet.com. Um, here's the link. This is, you know the link to the site if you want you if you want to order your Helium Blade. Also, I will link it in the description down below. But uh, this is this was just one of my most looking for things of this year, and I finally got it now in my hands. If I give it a rating, I definitely give it a good solid solid 9.5 or a good solid 10. Just fantastic. But there was again a collectible toy review kinds of stuff. I don't know, you know, I think it's a collectible review, a collectible review on the NECA Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. 
Ezio Auditore da Firenze's Hidden Blade Gauntlet Replica. And I'll see you guys next time with no review.